G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo Yoga 213. Model name 20344. Oh, pardon me. And what we probably need to get in here, I think, is a T4 screwdriver. Bingo. So I've already cloned the hard drive, which I used a USB copy of a Cronus True image. And from there, that has cloned it to the new Crucial MX500 250 gig hard drive. I've had one of these Lenovo Yogas in the past and I thought they were reasonably decent. This one does have a 500 gig, I think, hard drive in there and it is somewhat failing. It also only has 4 gig of RAM, which in today is not really enough. As soon as you start loading up things, Norton running in the background on this particular machine, it just absolutely eats that RAM and as soon as you turn it on, we're already sitting at about 80% RAM usage. And that's before you even start loading anything that you actually want to do. There we go. So with all those T4 screws removed, should then use a pry, plastic pry tool. Should get me in there. There we go. Now we're in. And sadly, the RAM itself is soldered directly under the mainboard. We do have an option of an NVMe or probably an mSATA SSD for this one. But here's what we're going to be replacing. So sadly, that RAM is soldered directly on. As a cost-saving measure, so that is a tad disappointing. So we will just go through the SSD upgrade. So if I zoom down to here. Should be able to lift up this connector on here and pull this cord back. Should be able to pull just this tape up. And it will just unconnect the other side. And put that aside for now. From here. One screw. Two screw. Three. And four under the video cable. Go. And what we should be able to do from there, lift this up, disconnect. That is a very thin hard drive. I'm not sure if the fat boy will actually fit in there. But I guess we will find out in just a moment. Yep, had it around the right way the first time. I'm actually going to remove the bracket. I don't think it's actually going to be able to fit with the bracket. It should be sitting there like so. Now I'm just going to put the back cover back on. Just to see if we even have clearance. Struggling. So we're gonna leave that bracket out and we've got double side tape the SSD in. It's been that the cover's gonna be on, it's really not gonna have any movement whatsoever. So simply a couple of strips of double sided tape. One here, one here. over, line it up, push it down, connect up the flex connect connector, slides back in, push down to lock it, 
similar up the front here. We've got the connector, slide in, push down, push the, hard, the LCD connector cable back down, tape that down. Now from here, drive over here. Ultra Mobile SSHD. Certainly was. So there's a considerably small height to it. Right, next up, cover back on. Or at least we'll attempt to put the cover back on. We have one screw that's escaped. Not sure where it escaped from. There we go. There we go. And then it's a matter of putting those T5 screws back in once more. So put that there. So we proceed to put the T5s, T4s back in. All of them look to be of the same size, so that shouldn't be much of a drama. And that should be able to upgrade the SSD in your Lenovo Yoga 213. Hope that helps, and I'll see you later. Bye.